U.S. President Donald Trump's much-awaited fake news awards list is finally out. Uh, U.S. President Donald Trump took to Twitter to announce his winners of the fake news awards. The president tweeted a link uh, for that full list, but the site crashed soon after and said it was temporarily offline. CNN was mentioned at least four times in that list. CNN had reported that the Trump campaign had early access to hacked documents from WikiLeaks. The New York Times topped the president's fake news list, while Trump Four's uh, Time and the Washington Post were also included. The New York Times' is, uh, Paul Krugman led the awards, winning first place for his 2016 prediction that the stock market markets would never recover from Trump's win over Democrat Hillary Clinton. ABC News' Brian Ross bungle, uh, and his uh, bungled report on uh, former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn won him the second spot. Newsweek report that Polish First Lady Agatha had, uh, in fact, did not shake Trump's hand, also made it to the list. Time report that Trump removed a bust of uh, Martin Luther King Jr. from the Oval Office. Washington Post's uh, Dave uh, Weigel tweeting that Trump's December rally in Pensacola, Florida was not packed with supporters, also got him a spot on that list. And immediately after announcing the fake news awards, Donald Trump took to Twitter to hit out at media. He said, and I'm quoting, despite some very corrupt and dishonest media coverage, there are many great reporters I respect and lots of good news for the American people to be proud of. ISIS is in retreat. Our economy is booming, investments and jobs are pouring back into the country and so much more. Together, there is nothing we cannot overcome, even a very biased media. We are making America great again, unquote. President Trump, who repeatedly criticized the press, calling it the enemy of the people, often uses the term fake news to cast a doubt on reports critical of him or his administration. The term fake news was originally coined to describe false reports often spread through social media and sometimes aimed at supporting or hurting a political figure. Meanwhile, in a study released this week by Gallup and the Knight Foundation, 66% of Americans who were surveyed said most news organizations blurred opinion and fact, up from 42% in 1984, fake news was deemed a threat to democracy by a majority of respondents and political affiliation is a major factor in perception of bias. 67% of Republicans said they saw a great deal of political bias in the news media and 26% of Democrats said the same. And earlier we spoke to Weon correspondent Andy Royskin from Chicago. Listen in to what he said. Right, and a lot of people are mocking uh, these quote-unquote awards for that reason. Uh, like I said, there, there are some breaches of, of journalistic ethics here, but some of these things, there was a report here of a reporter who, who uh, said that a crowd that was attending a Trump rally wasn't very big, and apparently he put that out there before the rally even began. So some of this stuff, you're right, it, it's pretty silly. The overfeeding the fish, uh, this is kind of uh, up for debate. Even right-wing media didn't take this uh, incredibly seriously. Uh, a lot of comedians here mocked it like crazy. And I should point out as well, and maybe I'll bring this up as well, that today two U.S. senators, on a much more serious note, came out and uh, really hammered the president. And they were Republican senators in the president's own party. They hammered him for criticizing the media. In fact, uh, one of those senators gave a floor on the speech of the U.S. Uh, Senate saying that uh, Trump criticizing the media was like uh, a Stalin-like tactic. Uh, Joseph Stalin and how he talked about how the enemy was the media, the, the, the media was the enemy of the people. That's how Trump has described the American media. And even Republicans are getting bothered by that.